Choices. Choices are all I am surrounded by lately, and these choices are making me realize what life is, these choices. Paths. Foggy and congested highways from A to Z, from where I am now to who I could be. This path I've taken, this business I'm in, in this city of lights and glamour and sex and cameras. Who did I become in the year of half of my lucky number? In 2004, I said, give me more. In 2004, I said, open the door. But in 2004, I was freaking poor. And an education is expensive. If I want to heal those like my mother and my brother with chemical imbalance, bad tempers, and bipolar disorders, an education is expensive. If I want to teach the written word to youngsters with stories of their own written in the trails of their own cries, and time is more expensive if I waste it. These choices are poisons. Crippling my beliefs and questioning my doubts and certainties, but options is the word of the year I tell myself whenever something makes me think too much about my own potential. Choices locked behind my past credentials, so I focus on a crush that is aptly named just that, and crucify myself for feminist by wearing different hats. Slut, bitch, lover, girlfriend, mother. When all I really want is someone else to belong to. My Nana telling me to find a nice Jew and share a home and have babies and a career, job, occupation, titillation, mental perspiration. The choice between myself and a family hammers me, nails me to my bed, which I toss and turn on each night, unable to sleep because my mind won't stop. And I'm starting to wonder what pill I could pop, thinking of different choices I haven't chosen but just might, when I really simply just want it all. To teach, publish, share, heal, learn, create, manage, sell, love, cultivate, and decide.